What's going on everybody? It's Afro Think Tank. Today, I just want to tell my subscribers, stop listening to people who try to make a living talking down and talking bad about black people. Stop it. Stop it. It's ridiculous, right? Stop listening to these people. Stop listening to people that's trying to get a political leg up by talking down about black people. Stop it, right? Stop listening to these POCs that want to be closer to, you know, their Western European allies by talking down about black people. Just stop it. Like, they, they're they ridiculous. They're ridiculous. And you shouldn't allow them to gaslight you in order for them to get a political or financial leg up. Like, stop listening to these Indian people, all five of them that come over here. We know the Indians got a caste system. Their caste system in their own country is about as, is, is worse than the racism we have, the form of racism we have in this country. And of course we know Indians, a lot of, not all of them, are unapologetically white loving people with no shame. And when they come over here, they wanna be white. Like we know that, they got no pride. They come over here, they ain't got no pride in them, their Indian selves. They capitulate to the white power structure. They're weak when it comes to that. So when they come over here and do that, just blow them off. Look at their country. They can't they, they can't speak on us. No Indian can speak on us. Out of a country of a billion people, of course there's going to be four or five of them, six or seven of them that's doing pretty well after they finish, you know, taking in their foot off the necks of their fellow Indians to get a leg up and come over here to the West to continue on with their corporations or business or their aspirations. That's what they do. Man, forget them. You want to talk about Asian people, Chinese, when, when you come over here and they... They, they want to get close to the whiteness, so they talk bad about black people. Get out of here. Have you seen China? You see the poverty and the shit they got going on over there? You see the average individual? You see the leg up some of their companies have over us? It's not like Chinese people are going around the world on their own individual power and starting corporations and passing out billion dollar loans. No. China is a freaking authoritarian government. They're, everybody's backed by the government when it comes to when it comes to that Chinese stuff. So you can't compare Chinese business dealings around the world with individual black people, you know, African Americans. Get out of here! You can't. If, if they can't take care of their own damn country and take care of their people, they can't come to America and judge us. People who have been institutional institutionally marginalized in this country. And stop listening to them, them self hating ass black people. Who just love come on the internet and say that they're all their black people uh, on welfare or food stamp like if that's your real like stop listening to these black people that come on the internet they got nothing but a negative view of their own people and most of these black people don't even live with black people they live with white people or spanish people they don't live in where black people live in america if you notice that look at a lot of them they live with white folks they want to they want to make white folks feel comfortable you know so what they do is they pretend like we should, you know, we, we're all the black people and, the sh and our complaints are just, we're just whining and complaining. And, that, and they say we're emotional, but in actuality, they're the emotional one because the only people they ever defend is white people and Spanish people. They get a pass for everything. The black folks, everything we do, they judge us, ah, gah, 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 while they stand in front of their damn white, white uh, masses defending them. Like, and they never hold any white people or Asian people, they don't hold anybody accountable. If they do, it's bare minimum default just so they say that they did. But for the most part, if you got a black person that comes on the internet and all they do is talk shit and down about black people, if their total view about black people is just poverty and suffering and, and low education and all that stuff, and everything that they say ends up being just black people fault, don't listen to them because they self-haters. All right, there's a lot of black self-haters. We still have a lot of trauma that we're dealing with as a community when it comes to you know, this country and how we're treated. Like most of those Indian people who talking shit about black people, they talk shit about their own people. They're self-haters. Those Chinese and Asians, any of those Asian people that talk shit about black people in America, they talk shit about their own people back in their house. And then white people, hey, them white people talking shit about black people, have they turned around and looked at their own, their own communities in this country? When everything they blame and accuse us for, they're doing 10 times over. White people are the most dangerous, violent criminals on the planet. How can they even turn around and look at us and talk about criminality? And another thing, a lot of these black and some of these POC uh, hating for profit people are doing, what they do is they pretend and act like criminality is something inherent with black people. As if every community don't have a, a, a community that, that's, that, that's in poverty. And everybody knows when it comes to poverty, people in poverty tend to commit crimes because of des economic desperation. That's like 
basic. So if you got anybody say, hey, black people, black, they still saying black on black crime, you know they're just self-haters. Because they still, them same people don't talk about the white on white crime. They, they don't talk about the Asian on Asian crime. They don't talk about the Asian people that walk up into uh, stores and robbing stores. They don't talk about the white people that go up in stores, robbing stores. It happens all the time. It happens more. You know, but as soon as a black person make, does, oh, look at black people. Oh, my God. See, there you go. You see, they scour the Internet looking for black people so they can talk about black people. But they don't talk about the good stuff. You know how much good we're doing? You know how awesome black people are? Despite the constant institutionalized pressure, racism, and tricks, and the fact that there's a whole bunch of POCs who benefited from our struggle, yet don't appreciate it, and because they want to be close to the whiteness, they want to capitulate and, and bow down and bend the knee to white people, and so they take their side, and they think, oh, we're going to talk shit about the black people. That's the program. Despite that, look at what we do. Look how many graduates we have in college. Look how many doctors we, we have. Look how many businesses we start. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I see a whole bunch of black businesses. It's not it's not an issue where I'm from. It's black, and this is the black, this is Chocolate City. And there's a plenty of black businesses, plenty of successful black professionals. There's plenty of black people doing great and amazing things. For a, a group of people that's supposedly only 14% of, the, of America's um, population, we rep we're, we're highly represented in the government, in the United States military. In the secret service organizations and all the three-letter agencies, we are intricate members of this government. We run this. Go we run a portion of this government. We have plenty of senators and congressmen. What y'all talking about? We're not go doing good. You may not agree with all the politics, you know, with the policies of the politi politicians, but it don't make don't mean we ain't up there doing it. Hell, we got black Republicans. We got black Democrats. We got black people in every facet of government. We got black people in every facet of industry and business for our supposed small population. And the obvious, well-known institutionalized racism and pressure against us, despite that, we still rise. And we're, we're migrating back to our homeland. We're reconnecting with our people. Our African people are rising. African-American people are rising. We have continued to rise. We are continuing to get smarter. Our women are intelligent. Our boy, our young boys and our young men are becoming more intelligent. Despite all of us, yeah, women and men, yeah, yeah. our children are going to college and getting degrees in, in different fields at a at a at an astonishing rate. We're achieving at an astonishing rate. But they don't want to talk about that because it doesn't fit their narrative. They can't make money talking about black excellence and positivity because the white power structure doesn't promote that because it's, it, it, it's counterproductive to their ascension and their maintaining of white superiority and the narrative that they need to continue on with when it comes to how they want to be positioned in this country and then around the world. So yeah, man, stop listening to these professional haters and professional trolls what's going on man what's up so, stop just stop they, they're trash and they're garbage and you shouldn't you shouldn't absorb it right i'll be listening to people in the car oh black people in america we are ruined we're finishing down look what the look at the message that they're putting look at the message that they're putting into the minds of impressionable black people that there's no hope for black you got you got literally got people saying there's no hope despite all the shit we we've been through worse shit and we was inventing things we were still inventing things we're still, we're still, um, we're still discovering things. We're still participating in all the major sciences and and contributing. What are you? Ta what are these people be talking about? We got problems like every group, every human being on a group period on the planet got the same problems in their societies, depending on their economic situation. But besides that, as a group, black man, black, black, we've we been. Have you watch, turn on the TV? Half the goddamn stars are, are black. Majority of goddamn sports entertainers are black. Most of the most popular uh, entertainers are black. Most of the, I mean, look around the world. Are you crazy? What you mean? Like, <laughs> like so it depends on what you want to focus on. If you want to focus on the negativity, you want to focus on the, you want to focus on the bad part and just say that is who black people, that is who black Americans are. You can focus on that 24 seven and you'll have an echo chamber of people with negative thoughts negative feelings and just being negative all around you be passing that shit around like a cancer or you can choose to look at the good things that we do as african americans and the good things that we accomplish and how we're rising and elevating in a system that wasn't even built for us but built by us okay so all i'm saying guys stop listening to these people who who, who just self they're just ha haters right they hate us for a reason they're jealous they're just jealous bro they're just jealous they hate. Why do you think people hate on LeBron? Because they can't be LeBron, right? So they're gonna make fun of his hairline or 
or anything he does, they're going to jump on him because they want to tear him down because they're tired of looking up at him. It's the same with us. They want to continue to tear us down because they, they really look up to us. So to, 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 to deal with their own egos and insecurities and jealousy, they have to rip us down. And when black people do it, it's just because they're weak. They're weak and they're self-haters. And that's it. Right? And we have to we have to put them in the clown category, right? Disregard them and stop absorbing that negativity that they they pump out every single day. Start looking for stuff that reinforces the black excellence and positivity in your life. Okay? That's all I gotta say. It's Afro Think Tank, learn some, teach some. I'm out.